What's good, YouTube? LCB on paper, come with another deck profile. Uh, and it's on my Advent Garden deck, um, as you see. Uh, the reason why I'm making the deck profile now is because it's in, in honor of the great new support we're going to get. And I think set 12. And to be honest, bro, if y'all sleep on the brother, I thought about selling this deck, bro. If he didn't get support, this deck was going to be gone. I'm sorry. But he got support. <laughs> you know, your brother glad to have him. You know what I mean? So I'm pretty sure all y'all should know the skills already by now. Um, Hopefully. So I can make this a quick one. All right, it started. Sor Sor period. You he is versatile. Um, you can't play the deck without this starter, so you can't switch it. See how valuable he is? He should have been an SP. You know, I'm just saying. You know, unpopular opinion, <laughs> maybe, but <laughs> should have been a a higher variety starter because he's your pilot and he's the only way you can run the deck. You feel me? Then you got your grade one, right? Um, he gives the on rise skill to the grade two to search your deck for your grade one strategy order. And if you didn't uh, reveal a strategy order from uh, when you searched, he gets to be called out. And from there, he's your, he's your booster or attacker. Uh, grade two uh, gives the on rise skill to the grade three to search out the grade two strategy order. Vice versa, vice versa, uh, call out or use them as a booster. Um, if you didn't get the great two strategy order, the Avon, Avon Gardner, the beautiful restander himself, the beautiful mech himself, uh, he's a restander vanguard. Um, pretty much you add a strategy order from your order zone to soul and give the auto ability to on hit restand or when you persona ride restand right count box one minus one drive he restands and when you do put an order in zone uh, into soul you draw a card give gives himself 5k i know i'm not going off of like all the text but that's general that's pretty much generally what he does um so on to the, the main deck you're running three additional copies of Ivan Gardner because like I said uh when you persona ride you count blocks one restand so you need to see persona ride so three copies of that All right um playing three copies of Bogle right he searches out your uh grade three strategy order right um from deck or drop and when you play a set order uh he gains 5k all right i think it's just a set order too yeah gains 5k when you play set order you know so he's an 18k attacker um when you put when you put some rod he'd be 28k um and he gets bigger over time you know <laughs> then on to the grade twos, all right? Uh, we got two copies of Enlightened Age, two copies of Fighting Dragon, two copies of Combine Rusher, and four copies of Habitable Zone, all right? Uh, why so many grade twos you might ask or why this these ratios or where's the grade two that gets persona rod you can ask a lot but I find that this ratio works for me uh, I find that I like the fifth attack I like the option to have that fifth attack so this is the reason why I play fighting dragon right so fighting dragon is when you uh, discard him off of any ability, pretty much, during your turn, 
and you have a set order, count loss one, you call them to rear guard circle, all right? So pretty much it, it makes your, it makes this deck a five attack deck because you already get four attacks with your restanding Vanguard, right? The count loss one, ditch one, you're ditching fighting dragon and you're calling him back for your fifth attack, right? I like the option to have it, so that's the reason why I, I'm playing two copies of it. Don't want to see more than two copies, just two copies. Um, play two Enlightened Age, right? Due to the fact that we don't got the promo yet, the if I had the promo, and that promo better come hollow, because if it's not hollow, it'll be tight. It's probably not going to be hollow. Um... The reason why we play him is to recycle your your orders. You soul blast one, discard one. You get two two orders when we drop with different names. So basically, all you do one is soul blast one, discard an order, and add that order in a different order back to hand. You always recycle in it, and it only works on Persona Ride. And he also gets five K during the turn. Yep, yep, that's basically what he does. Um, he's your way to recycle your set orders and you need to play him. Um, although, yes, you could search out great three set order, um, strategy order from drop with this card. You don't always wanna counter blast. He's your way to recycle at all times. Um, Combine Rusher, you can play Combine Rusher because he's a recurring grade two. Every time you play a order, you combo us one to recall him. If you have two more and you're attacking a grade three, he gains plus 10. So he's a twin kid, uh, attacker. Um, really good, really good. If your opponent decides to rush you, you're playing set orders from turn two and on. So... You get to pretty much go like this. You could option. This is an option. You ditch him for uh to ride up to grade one. Then you ditch inhabitable zone to ride up to grade two. You're searching to get the grade one strategy order. You play this uh, grade one strategy order. Combine blasting one. Calling combine rusher, right? And then. Uh, pretty much you kind of pushing right then ditch to ride the grade three now you have the option to search out your grade two strategy order or call grade two out to rush so that's it is versatile you know it's really good Com combat rusher is a necessity for the deck um, because he's a recurring grade two you know um, Habitat Zone, he made this deck a little bit more better because I could to I tolerate all this nonsense a little bit more when I see him now. Um, pretty much when you discard this card during your ride phase, you Soul Blast 1, draw a card, put him on the bottom of your deck, right? Um... Nope, nope, you're not gonna discard this card to ride up to grade one and use skill because you're so blasting your grade zero and you're not gonna be able to run the deck. Talking about a vanilla deck, <laughs> by all means, go ahead, <laughs> discard, uh, soul blast to grade zero. You're not playing the deck the way it's supposed to be played. Um, So, Running four copies due to the fact that I want to see him my persona ride turn. When you call him, you count by the one, you search your deck for a set order, and you get to play it for as a free cost, and you get to play two the same two uh set orders that turn. Uh with that being said, said I have to show that I run the set order dock. So pretty much any any Brant Gate deck could run this lineup and run and be pretty
perfectly fine. Um, when you push on a ride, you call Hopper the Zone, Cow Blaster One, search out Doc, you play Doc for free, and you draw a card, and it gives all your grade two boost. You feel me? So now you got a 20, 20k booster here. You feel me? You got a 10k booster here. You got 15k booster here. You know, it, it, a lot can happen. It, it matters a lot. Um. Now, four is a little bit too aggressive. You can you can bump them down to three. You know, but like I said, you want to see them. But let's be honest, in this deck, the way it compresses and searches out a lot of cards out of the deck, um, you could definitely run three and be fine. Um, the next set order will be let's, um, the grade one set order. Let's go with this, the kill stride. Um, when Evan Gardner, when you play it, when you play one kill stride, right? Um, activate Avon Garden skill to Soul Charge. It, um, it gives the skill to Avon Garden 5k, and you get to retire one rear guard. Um, not go front. It comes up, not all the time, but it does come up. Like, if you see your opponent want a per, uh, an important piece on the board, they played it. Best believe you're going to try to kill it at least once, you know. Kind of wish they gave them more strategy orders. I I hope to see more strategy orders. I hope to see it. I can only pray. I run two copies, right? Two copies, um, for the um uh, for the reason of turn one. I don't want to draw into this and not be able to search it out because I want to deck then as much as possible in this deck to compress it so I see more triggers. Um, two, if I open up one, I could always search out the second one, right? So turn one, say it's turn one, I ditch right grade one, I could automatically play this, right? Turn two, search this out, play this. Uh, turn three, search the grade two, play this. And then I, I'll always have a set order to put in put in the soul at all times and combine rusher will be, always be active turn three and on or turn four and on i don't know i'm just talking out, out me ass right now um so with that being said i run one copy of dusting to be honest people be sleeping on this one this right here, this could win you a game, right? If your opponent drive checks sent you to, this says no. You can't block with it. If they think they could intercept, this says no. If they think they could use that uh, blitz order that stops the uh, over trigger, this says no. Like, this could win you a game. Are you going to always use it? No. It's situational. Um, and you have to time it right. The one that you're going to use every turn, when you put on the ride, is death wins. Basically stating that uh, you choose your Vanguard and it gets the skill of every time it attacks, your front row gets 5k. So, pretty much... Um, because your Vanguard swings twice, your front was gonna get an additional 10k. If it, if for some reason it only swings swing once, front row gets 5k. But you better be using this when you persona ride so you can restand. All right. Um, you want to try every time you uh, every time you persona ride, you want to be able to use this in combination to have a big front row. You're pretty much giving plus 20k to their front row. With Persona Ride Power in this card. For Grey Ones, I only run eight. Four PGs. Four Halfways. Right? 
right now my second tooth is in a different deck. I would uh just take out one, put second two, have fun. Um halfways is your best grade one. Yeah, 10k booster. Behind Vanguard, he's a 10k booster. Like he's a 10k booster uh, as long as you play a set order. Uh the turn, he'll be a 10k booster. And behind Vanguard, Seneca Sena Column. Um, he's a counter charger. So halfway behind the Vanguard. If they never gave halfway the skill to counter charge, I don't think this deck will run at all. But because they gave him that skill to always be able to counter charge, that makes your Vanguard live at all times. Right? So basically 20, 23 at 23 or more. I'm not accumulate all the power that Adam Garner could get. But um also his main skill, kind of lost one. One place, you draw a card. <laughs> Free replacing himself. Come on now. Um need a run four. I I I want it. I don't suggest take um minusing him out. I remember I was playing him for like two copies. And when I tell you that backfired, whew, maximize four. That pretty much the only gray one you need at the at this at this time. Um you don't counter blast that much. Um only other gray one I suggest is bow of mine on boost. Right? At the end of the battle, so charge, counter charge. That's the only other great one I'll suggest. You just need to find room to put them there. But at this time, that's all I need. Uh, onto the triggers. All right, let me put that out. Onto the triggers. Self explanatory. Um, I'm running four heels. If y'all don't like the 2 2 split, y'all can always run the vanilla because I know there's an issue with not having the additional 5k for this heal trigger. To be honest, for whatever reason, I draw into this first and I'm playing a deck that doesn't gain a crit, I'll just drop it early. That's that's pretty much how you're supposed to do it. I don't see, I don't see why it's a big issue of, oh, I need a 15k shield. Bro, if they're swinging and it's just a 10k shield, just drop it, it ain't a big deal. Um, Like the, the swings that you would drop for a draw trigger you're dropping this ain't that big of a deal man but because of you're running these two two splits you're allowed to you know yeah you're allowed you're allowed to wiggle room because this deck uh this deck compresses and you're allowed to search out all these orders um you're allowed to run fronts Right, so the minus five k shield you would have got from this, uh, the fronts help out, you know. If y'all make, if that made sense, you know. Um, fronts, no draws. You don't need draws for this deck. Um, the, this deck draws too much, searches out too much. You will deck out. If you do everything the right way. Your, your deck will compress and you'll see triggers. But no complaints. Um, then I run eight crit, oh, uh, seven crit, sorry. Um, four vanilla, um, three, three triggers, three effect crit. Um, to be honest, you don't need the effect crit in this deck. You can honestly run vanilla. Um, the reason being is I would rather have the 5k boost behind a Vanguard if I need a drop of 5k booster behind Vanguard. If I if I don't see this, right? For example, if I don't see him and for whatever reason I didn't play Doc and I need a booster? And I could, I could, uh, how you say, 
be okay with dropping a trigger to be a booster, I definitely will because this behind Vanguard is 18 and then whatever effects he gets, he'll, he'll go up to a good side 28 to uh, 23. I'll be fine with it. Uh, and then the best OT in the game, uh, double, double everything, double your crit, 100 million bases. Um, when I get the festival collection, uh, grade three, I will be taking out one copy of Vogel and one copy of Capital Zone, right? Um, so I don't need to remake a deck profile post festival collection. Um, I'm just telling y'all what I would take out. I'll take out a copy of Vogel and a copy of uh, Hapital Zone and play a 